Hey guys, Terry Claus here. Um, as promised, I'm at my Goodwill at um, 50% off Saturday, and the toy aisle is a lot more populated than it usually is. And actually, um, when I first came in, there were like no parking spots. When you come into, when you first come in the door, there's like no shopping carts. So basically, it's every person for themselves, and it's just really, really madness. I don't think that there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna find today. Oh look, just married. But I thought I would do a quick video for you guys. Oh, this is cute. Angel bear. What really sucks is the past few times that I came here, there was a lot of licensed stuff, but I didn't have money and I didn't have my camera. So, oh, look. You could get an Angry Birds puzzle. And I know I have, haven't done a good little video in a while, and I know a lot of you have been asking about it, but I really just have been really busy and um, that sort of thing, so. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. And I'm talking to myself, if it's okay, because I do it for you guys. Oh look, dance chick. I should get that for my mom because she dances. Oh, it's so cute. Well, it's everything in the store. Usually our store goes by colors. Like if the color of the week was green, for example, this would be 49 cents instead of 99 cents. But today, the first Saturday of the month is everything is 50% off. And I know I've talked to a few of you guys, and some of you said that your Goodwills don't do that, or you don't have 50% off sales, or you don't have Color of the Week sales, which kind of sucks for you because it's a nice break in prices, especially when you're on a budget. So, oh, uh, look at that unicorn. I have this already. Oh, I don't see too much stuff today. And oh my goodness, there are so many people. It's sort of not good for my social anxiety, but that's okay. Look at this. Teacher's pets. Oh my goodness, look at this big monkey. Would anyone want this monkey? That's a big giant one. If that wasn't a claw, it'd probably be in the big one. That's a big monkey. Uh, dinosaur pillow pet. A uh, Webkins, that's a Siamese cat. Somewhat cute. Don't know. I don't know what that dog is. Um, I see something down there. It looks like a vintage pound puppy, but I'm not sure. What is that? There's so many weird things. 1997. I don't know what that is. <laughs> when I first walked in, and the Goodwill guy was eyeing me, like, suspiciously, like, what is that girl doing? It's a greaser bear. I would say Greaser because he reminds me of Fonzie. They would call him Fonzie Bear. It's not like a Boyd's or anything. If you have, if you find Boyd's here, they make them so much money, so it's not really worth to buy. I might as well would buy it like brand new. Oh, stuff's falling on me from overhead. Oh no! It's a plush avalanche. Well, so far I think I'm going to get this because my mom has taken dance lessons. Actually, we were supposed to take them together, but I quit everything because I get disinterested. So I was like, I don't want to do this. She's like, I'm going to do it. So I was like, good for you. Um, I think yeah, this is a vintage pound puppy. I had this exact one when I was little, actually. Oh, what else is here? Oh yeah, there was like, um, I saw a Crude's doll like the other day. Um, it was the girl. I didn't win any of the Crude's actually. And then I saw um, this the, the red hairy monster from Looney Tunes. His name's Gosmer, which is like an ironic name since Gosmer means thin and fragile and he's big and hulking. I googled it to find out what his name was. But yeah, I don't see very much stuff. It's mostly generics. But, ooh. But as always, if you see something that you think you might like and it's still here, I'm willing to pick it up for you guys if you want to purchase it or trade for it. Oh, look at that. Is, it, is that a chinchilla? I don't think I've ever seen a chinchilla plush before. Let's see. 
There's just, I wish there wasn't like such a hodgepodge of stuff. It makes it hard to look. Um, let's see. What's that? It looks like a play school stable. Girls rock. I would have thought that they would have had like a bit more for 50% off day. This looks somewhat familiar. It's not a cabbage patch horse. It's like, let's see. Oh, it is a cabbage patch kids horse, but it doesn't look like it. It looks different. The tag is really faded, but it says 1984. So it's vintage, but it's really soiled and dirty. I don't buy soiled things. Unless it's like vintage My Little Pony or something I can't live without. Oh look, it's a Care Bear in a frog raincoat. We might have to purchase this. Because it's 49 cents. Yeah, possibly. So we like find two things so far. Look at that weird bear. That looks really vintage. It would be 49 cents today too. I used to have a bear similar to this when I was little, but it says animals of distinction. Is it Knickerbocker? I've heard of that toy company, I think. It doesn't have a year though. I don't know. I used to have one similar to that, but it was pink. new batteries. We could have a big flower. I don't know what else. I don't see anything licensed except for a few dolls. Here's a, I was gonna say a ladybug neck pillow, but that's kind of small to be a neck pillow. So it was a neck pillow for a midget. Is that even politically correct? I think you're supposed to say little people. Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff like this. What is Club Penguin? Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you know what that is. I think it's some sort of video game. I see Club Penguin stuff all the time. I see something interesting that I saw last week that's still here. <laughs> Somebody crocheted a fake Care Bear. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Share Bear because of the two lollipops. But, I don't know, it's vaguely disturbing me. I mean, there's a good effort. It's probably better than I could do, but still, no. You could have a mini HTO bottle. Here's a Red Rats doll. I forget what her name is. She's a really bratty one. Oh, I haven't seen Red Rats in a long time, so I just don't know. Oh, look, a thin, a talking Phineas and Ferb. That's cool. Let's see. Oh my god. Okay, he makes noises when you hit him. We might have to get that just because it's an awesome cartoon. I'm not doing well with videotaping today. This is a Neopet. Oh, like a little mini unicorn. I like unicorn stuff, but not like all of the stuff. Okay. His nose is really cracks me up because it's so pointy. I don't know. So we've had three things so far. That and dancer chick talking things and I don't even know what he's saying because it's so loud in here. And this um, cheer bear in a frog raincoat. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. It's gonna be like something that I want. I think I'm gonna look in the first section. There's not. There's a big. I don't think there's, there's no ponies in the bin, which is disappointing. There hasn't been any ponies in a long time. I just hit my camera. We still have a lot of, like, Christmas stuff. See, here's a little sign, which today 
50% off store wide this Saturday only, which is today, which is actually um, March 1st. And sometimes we have a lot of purses back here, but they haven't had a lot lately. Um, I visit about four Goodwills like nearby, and this is the only Goodwill that has actually an area with purses. It looks like back here, do you see what I see? I can actually zoom in. It looks like the purse that I found a while ago. I think that's a flower monogram Louis Vuitton. Question is, is it legit? Is it real? I think so. Someone told me, a friend who's like a big fashionista, and I know you can't see that because my camera sucks on zoom, but it has to say LV somewhere in metal for it to be real. And I don't know if that's the same size as the one I have or if that's bigger. This, I don't know, but I might have to ask to see it, possibly. Oh look, there's a, there's a Build-A-Bear dress for $9.99. You could like buy that cheaper for like new, even though it is new. Here are the Boyds I was telling you about. Different kinds of Boyds, they price them really, really high, so it's good to get it on a day that's 50% off like this. And let's see, there's a, there's a PS1. I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys watch this channel called The Game Chasers, but it's basically like two middle-aged guys that like travel around all over the country. I don't know what their actual job is. They travel all around the country looking for like retro video games. It's really entertaining because they make it into like a little like series. I think they're on season four now or something. I stopped watching for like six months and I started watching again last night and I started binge watching all of the episodes that I missed and stuff. And it's really interesting. I mean, I would check it out and it's it's called The Game Chasers. I mean, if you're into stuff like that about people on the hunt looking for things that they collect, it just happens to be that I collect plush toys and vintage toys and 80s stuff. They collect retro, retro video games like Nintendo and Sega and Atari and ColecoVision, which I've never even heard of. Apparently it predates Atari. But anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Not too lengthy of a video. Um, I want to show you the parking lot outside is completely full. I had to park like behind the building in between like this big truck. And luckily I have a compact car so I was able to fit in. But yeah, so I just, I guess I only got these three things. I might check about that purse later on. So like, as you can see, there's like lots of people are all like lined up and stuff. Usually it's hard to even get through. And as you can see, like over there, the cart corral is completely empty. There's not even a cart. That's okay. I don't need a cart for my three things. So I guess that's it for now. And I will see you guys all later. And hopefully I'll have a better Goodwill video that's a bit more interesting than this one. Because I didn't find a lot of stuff today. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you all later. Bye.